It is the 40th annual Very Special Arts Festival. This is a chance for exceptional children in Cumberland County Schools to take the stage, as you see here, and shine. WRL Fayetteville reporter Gilbert Bays had a front row seat as the Master of Ceremonies. Well, this has to be my favorite day of the year. This is the 40th annual Very Special Arts Festival. I've been the MC all 40 years. As you can see, this is a hands-on experience, but it starts with a big performance on stage. For these exceptional children in Cumberland County Schools, the stage doesn't get any bigger or better than this. I have just one line that goes round and round. For the past 40 years, they've had a chance to strut their stuff in front of a huge audience. The students love it. You got a special hat made there? Yeah, it's made out of newspaper. Yeah. How, what country is that from, do you think? I don't know. It's really fun. Tell me about what, what some of the things you've done. We get puppets, we get toys. Parents adore it. So this is a good inclusivity event for the kids. It's kind of like their Super Bowl. You pulled out all the stops. There was even a crazy guy on the harmonica. This year's theme was traveling around the world through the arts. How about a tricycle ride at the Tour de France? or some imaginary pizza from Italy. And it doesn't get any more American than spiking a football. Well, ultimately, it really does build their confidence and gives them the opportunity to show what they're doing in their classes and work with their teachers and just be able to come and work together. So these kids are enjoying the arts from around the world, and I don't know if the kids are having more fun than me. This is a great experience, and they're looking forward already to next year. In Cumberland County, Gilbert Bays, WREL News. Yeah, that, that's not work for him. Uh, yeah, not at all. <laughs> it is so lovely to hear all those laughs and the shrieks of joy from the kiddos, though. The festival is making a comeback after having to sit out a year because of the pandemic. Organizers are hoping to include middle and high school performers at next year's event. Looked like a fun time.